All right, this is the first attempt at um, taking a ship out of the uh, Orville landing pad, which I, I hear has a lot of issues with different people um, not being able to get out of the port, including myself, but initially. Um, I started off with um, the, the prospector trying to get out of the port. I also tried, um, no, I tried, it, was, it was actually, it was just the prospector, but I, I knew that there was a lot of issues with people saying that they had issues getting out. Like it was, some people are saying it's it, the way that it is now, it's just a feature of the game where if you're taking a large ship or any kind of ship, it's difficult to get out of the landing area. It's not definitely like, not like it was, but, uh, I really want to test it. Um, people are saying that even the Cutlass Black is having a hard time getting out. And larger ships just are not getting out at all. I apologize for the audio in the background. Um, but, uh, yeah. I just cut out all the audio and re record all of this so that it's easy to lag if I post it on the internet. So, what I did is I went ahead and I used the money that I had transferring over. I don't know how it generates the money, but I had over 70k. So I went ahead and I'm going to fly a ship that I've never flown before. This is the uh, RSI Constellation Andromeda. Uh, if it's anything similar to the other one, there's uh, there's a, there's a bay around here that drops down. I think it's right here somewhere. Okay. All right. Here's the elevator. So um, I experimented. I crashed a bunch of times wasn't working. I kept thought, I was like, it would start off uh, nice, you'd get out of the, the hangar, it would go straight up, and then you would start to develop problems after you've gone out of some kind of like vertical takeoff mode. Well, I realized that the game doesn't allow you to um, really try to travel directly up uh, anymore because of, I believe, features in the game. I could be way off could be wrong on this, but this is the first first attempt at leaving. I'm having all kinds of artifacts issues. I have what I believe to be outdated equipment. I'm on low settings. I'm on um, 1600 by 900 graphic settings, and um, I have full screen on. Everything is dropped, from what I can tell, and I make sure that my FOIP is off. Stable sources and all that because I don't, I'm not doing that right now. I'm using a mouse and board. So let's go ahead and um, let's try to take off. This is be the first attempt at taking off with Constellation. And um, my understanding, hey, it didn't take my money away. That's funny. I went to go rent a ship for 70k and it didn't deplete the AUEC, so there's a bug. This isn't, this probably is not current. If I go here, probably shows the right amount. Yep, it does. Okay, so I've never left, but I don't, I don't really think there's not much of a difference between this ship and any of the other ships other than size. Now, I expect to have an issue taking off from um, only because I'm taking such a sizable ship. It's not a prospector. It's not, it's not a, uh, a vendor type. It's not a small ship. So I expect there now, for 3.10, to be uh, weight issues, gravity issues, because we're taking off from the planet. And um, what I did before to take off is you're using, you're utilizing the thrust, which is a W key. You're utilizing the space bar, which is also the thrust of going up, and uh, in tandem using the afterburners, which is the control key to get out. So let's go ahead and press R. Welcome to Robert Space Industries. Enjoy the ride. System check. Now this is this is test one. I might not make it out. But I have a suspicion that I'm going to be just fine. Because uh, I've had a couple uh, well I had actually an hour, maybe an hour and a half of just being stuck in uh, in orbit. Okay. So we need to leave here. We're taking off. Oh, well, it 
would help. If it would open for me. You are clear to launch. I could have swore I did that already, but that's okay. That's fine. Alright. So this is gonna open up and we're gonna we're gonna leave here. We're gonna find the takeoff. Strafe takeoff it even shows you strafe up with spacebar. And it even shows you fun fun to drive spooling. So I think that's a big key. That is another huge key for taking off. Is that it is kind of telling you you do need to press the space bar. So what we're gonna do is we are gonna we're gonna press that space bar. We're gonna start going towards these circles now. We're gonna keep on holding on the space bar. Alright, and now we're just going to press forward with the W key. And we're gonna keep going. We wanna stay in this. And it's it's running smoothly, but I wanna keep holding on the space bar. I'm gonna just keep holding on the space bar. I'm getting some glitching here. I'm gonna, I'm gonna kind of move over to the left a little bit. I'm gonna hold down the control key to go down a little bit. Space bar again. Yeah, and then I might actually hold on a little bit of the afterburners, which is the shift key. And I'm gonna keep holding on space bar. Space bar all the way, keep going. And I'm not gonna stop. Even though I know the game's artifacting, the game's acting funny, I'm gonna keep going. I'm gonna keep going on in this 15 to 20. I'm gonna keep going. I'm gonna keep going, keep going, keep going. I'm not gonna wrench it all the way up. Uh, man, my game is really artifacting and crazy. But I'm not gonna change the, the trajectory of the of the ship. Because if I do that, it, the, we're still in the planetary atmosphere. Um, and if we do that, our thrusters are not gonna be able to handle the ship going up high. So we can keep holding on the space bar, keep holding down W, and we can actually even hit cruise control. I just hit cruise control just now. And uh, and man, I am at one frame per second, folks. This is my computer having a nipshin fit. I'm still holding on the space bar, I don't care. I can't see what's happening because I'm going at one frame per second. But that doesn't really matter. I'm still gonna keep going still traveling, right? Still going up. Apologize for the frames per seconds. I really need better equipment. Uh, I'm going to go up to maybe like 40, 30, between 35 and 40. And again, we're only at um, vertical, to, uh, wait, we're only at 4,800. We need to get all the way up to like nine. Now I can try to wrench this up to go up to like 90 degrees, but I'll start, I'll, I'll, I'll stall my engines. Now, I'm not a pilot. I don't understand physics completely, but this is trial and an error. So we're gonna, just going to keep going here. Yeah, we're going to keep going 45. And there we are. We're out. We didn't crash. We didn't get stopped. I'm on cruise control, it's going, it's doing its thing. This is the very first time I've ever driven a big ass ship out of Florida. And if I can do it with a big ship, you guys can do it with the small ships. It's just that we're all used to just doing a vertical takeoff and then just beaming out of there 90 degrees. It's not how it works anymore in 3.10. So uh, there's that. Let me get back into this view here. And uh, I'm at 10,000 now. Yeah, I'm outside of the atmosphere. It doesn't matter if I wrench it up or down now. I can even turn the thrusters all the way up and start to go this way. I'm not affected by the gravitational pull of the, of the moon or the planet. So there it is. I took off. This is 3.10. Um, and uh, if it doesn't confirm that's a feature, if you don't believe it's a feature that is part of 3.10, do it yourself. Do exactly what I did, minus all the uh, one per, one frame per second, the crappy computer equipment, and um, I'll grab a smaller ship. But if I'm not mistaken, the constellation of Andromeda is a big ship. All right, so there you have it. Um, 